Okay, now let's see the possibility of Active Imaging Suite when it comes to use it as an endodontist, um, endodontist doctor. Okay, first of all, I have to sort of check if there is any root canal treatment that has been done on this patient. As I can see here, there is four canals that have been treated. Okay, angulate with the green light here. And on the sagittal view, I can clearly see the jumps performed. Okay, well on these two, it seems like there is a little kist generated by the root color treatment on that tooth. You can clearly see that there is a differentiation of gray level here all around the tooth, all around the, 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 the roots, sorry. And of course, this tooth can be checked in 3D. I simply click on this sort of kist appearing here and I can tell that on 3D, I zoom a bit more, you see that there is a little reception of the bone all around the root. Okay, so that's the advantage of having a 3D, a 3D modeling. You can really check what the job, whether your job has been well done or not. And of course, I can increase or decrease the bone density. By decreasing the bone density, to the maximum, I will only let appear the teeth. And of course, I can check very thoroughly all the root canal treatment that has been done. Here we go. Look at this, all the root canal treatment that has been performed on these tooth, on the tooth on the side. It's pretty, pretty clear. The advantage here is all the paste, obturation paste are already opaque which means that I will be able to see them uh, on the radio. If there is any overlap of the obturation paste, I will see it next to the root. That's allowed me to really, really check thoroughly if my job has been done properly or not. Sometimes you will see some obturation paste inside the sinus, causing some sort of infection, and of course a treatment will be needed. Okay. That's not the only thing that you can do with this software. Let's see that I want to check how many canals there is in one tooth. Okay, I just have to find one tooth. The last functionality when you are an endodontist, uh, which is actually really good because you can see right inside the root canal by using a virtual endoscope. Okay, I'll show you. Sometimes you don't know how many canals there is on a kini or on a molar. Well, here's the ability to actually see inside the tooth with a little small camera. Virtual endoscopy, it's called. Okay, well, I'll try to find a nice tooth, maybe this one. Okay, I go in the plane icon here. I click once, I click twice, and here we go. Now it's a matter of adjusting the camera view. Here we go, perfect see this nice little root canal here okay obviously if i go around this is i'm on a canine right now but i can't only see one one really one one canal okay well i can even have fun i can pretty much go down this canal by reducing a little bit of the density not too much just right enough and play with the camera and go down the canal that's like a video game really Okay, so with this function, you can check how many canal a tooth has. Here we go.